In this example, we will demonstrate how to create a circular hole on a curved surface. On the screen, you can see the final result. We will use a predefined cylinder and create a circular hole that matches a predefined circle of nodes. In order to project the circle of nodes onto the cylinder surface, strap will need a defined surface, in our example, the cylinder, and a reference line for the projection direction. We will create an additional node in reference to an existing node. This will allow us to define the projection direction later on. Define a node using the F8 key, same as an existing node and choose node number 1354. We can see at the bottom left corner of the screen the node number. By pressing the left key of the mouse and drag the cursor down, we'll define the coordinates for the new node. Now, we will create a beam, just for direction reference, to be used later on. In order to project the circle of nodes onto the cylinder surface, we'll have to define new nodes. When defining nodes, we'll select the option More. This option will allow us to define nodes with the intersection of a cylinder and a line. We would like to create more than one node, so we'll check the box of Select Additional Nodes. After selecting Define, please pay attention to the prompt line where Strap is asking to select three nodes on the cylinder. This is how Strap recognized the curved surface of the cylinder. Now, Strap is requesting to select a node defining the start of the line that will reference our direction of projection. After selecting the first node, we'll need to select a node at the line end. We'll make sure we select node 1354. We'll select the nodes we want to project with the Select by Polygon option. We can see that all selected nodes were projected on the cylinder surface. After creating the projected nodes, we would like to create a hole on the cylinder surface. We will isolate the whole plane just for display purpose. We'll use limit display by coordinates, selecting a lower limit in the x1 axis and an upper limit in the x1 axis. After isolating the part of the model we want to work on, we can see that our hole is at the x2x3 plane. To view the x2x3 plane, we have two options. One is the x2x3 icon in the toolbar, or the second option is in the dynamic rotate submenu. Now, we will delete the elements on the cylinder surface and create a new elements that correspond to the whole geometry. In order to create new elements, we will delete nodes in the perimeter of our hole and also nodes that are close by that are not a part of our projected circle of nodes.
To define a new element, we'll use the option Use 3D Projection of Existing Nodes. In this option, Strap will ask us for a plane, then it will search for nodes outside of this plane, project those nodes on the plane, create a mesh, and project it back to our curved surface at original coordinates. Strap will now ask for a projection plan. We can see that our hole is parallel to the global X2, X3 plane. Now, let's define the contour of our surface. After that, define a contour of a hole. Selecting a node that defines an arc start, we can see we have two nodes, one on top of each other. We'll deal with this problem later. Select a node that defines arc end, an intermediate node on the arc. We'll complete the circle with two straight lines. Strap will ask if the mesh that it created is OK. Looks OK. We can clearly see that we created a hole in our cylinder surface. Now, let's bring back our entire model and delete our reference beam and unconnected nodes. Finally, we'll deal with the doubling of nodes with the unify command. This is it. Thank you for watching.